everybody, my name is Orm, and welcome to another episode of Pokemon Leaf Green version. In the last episode, we got here to the entrance of Mount Moon, and... Whoops. <laughs> we got here to the entrance of Mount Moon, cleared Route 3 with all those trainers, and got an interesting Pokemon. I spent $500 on a Derpish Pokemon. <laughs> anyway... Um, in this episode, we are going to go into Mount Moon and see what's in store for us. Mount Moon. Ah, epic music to greet us, and repels I shall use. Um, Mount Moon is basically a giant cavern that has, um, wild Pokemon everywhere. Every tile gives you a chance to encounter a wild Pokemon. So, not fun. Um, ooh, there's a trainer tips up here. Beware, Zubat is a blood sucker. Yeah, no joke. More like an annoying sucker. <laughs> Give me that item. TM09, Bullet Seed. Awesome. Bullet Seed is a move that can hit um, two to five times. And it's a grass attack. And, yeah, it hits two to five times. Pretty good move. Um, um, I might teach it to E soon. Because uh, I don't think Isun learns it normally, and we're not going to be getting a Pokemon soon that will learn it. So, he has Leech Seed and Vine Whip. Um, I don't want to have too many grass moves. So I think for now, I'm... Oh... You know what, no, I'm not. I'm going to save Bullet Seed. Because in this game, in later games in the series... Um, in later games in the series, um, TMs are completely reusable, but in this game, you can only use them once, so better to save it than just waste it, since we're pro- Oh, hello. <laughs> um, suspicious men are in the cave. What about you? These trainers are starting to creep me out. I don't know about you, but- New background! Because we're in a cave, the background has changed. Um, uh, Weedle! Be right back. Alright, there we go. Eastern's now level 14. Awesome. Um, what's up next? Kakuna. Alright. Oh, oh, God, why? Why? <laughs> oh. I don't have any special attacks. His defense can't go any- Oh, jeez. I'll be here for a while. Oh, jeez. <laughs> there we go. Anyway, defeated bug catcher Kent. Oh. <laughs> Um, anything in this little crater? Nope. Okay. Ooh, another item. Sweet! Paralyze heal. Or, Paralyze heal. More like it. Um, la di da di do What are you? What? I'm waiting for my friends to find me here. The exit is right over there. Anyway, Last Iris has a Clefairy! Clefairy is the fairy Pokemon, obviously. With its magical and cute appeal, it has many admirers. It is rare and found only in certain areas. And this might be one of them. Um, but what? Fine Whip did nothing! No! High defense Pokemon for the loss. Cute charm! Infatuated! No! Encore! Don't care! Yes! Yeah. I'm in love. Infatuation is something that only works on the opposite gender Pokemon, and it's kind of like confusion, but instead of attacking yourself, it just doesn't let you attack sometimes, because you're in love with the Pokemon, I guess. And I got... Oh, I'm in love. You soon? Why are you in love? Oh! oh. In love. Love. And I can't choose my move because I am on board right now. So, when this. Oh! We're gonna be for, here for a while. <laughs> oh, jeez! Alright, we got out of the sleep, we got out of the infatuation, and we got out of Encore. But we made it. We did it. We beat the Clefairy Dragon. Yeah! Alright. Sorry about that. It's just healing up. Oh, jeez. Must use another. Awesome. We're out of repels. That's not good. Um. I know there's an. I saw an item over there. Oh, and a trainer. Of course. 
What? Don't sneak up on me. You're the one who sneaked up, snuck, snuck up, sneaked up on me. Snuck? I don't know. Uh, Magnemite! Super new Joven here has a Magnemite. Magnemite, the magnet Pokemon, uses anti-gravity to stay suspended. Appears without warning and uses Thunder Wave in similar moves. That's cool. Why did I use Vine Whip? Oh. <laughs> Tackle. I will be back with this next Pokemon. All right, Magnemite down, and with, I'm assuming, a level, yep, level 15 on Isun. Um, and we're trying to learn Poison Powder. That's pretty awesome. Poison Powder is a move that will instantly poison a Pokemon. It doesn't have, it's not very accurate, but it will poison them. So I'm going to get rid of Growl for that. Isun forgot Growl, and Isun learned Poison Powder, awesome. So, Easton is trying to learn Sleep Powder as well. Sleep Powder is, I think it's the same exact thing, except it's a grass move. Yeah, it's pretty much the same thing. I think we're not going to use Sleep Powder. Well, actually, yeah, we are. We're gonna, I'm going to get rid of Leech Seed for Sleep Powder. Um, because I'm trying to, kind of what I'm doing is I'm setting up Isun to be kind of a support character. Or, not character, but a support, po oh, hello, I forgot to silence my phone. Sorry. <laughs> Um, I'm setting um, Isun up to be a support character, or I keep saying support Pokemon, so that Isun can poison and sleep, put people to sleep, so. Obviously, um, new Pokemon here, Voltorb. Voltorb is the ball Pokemon, and um, it's usually found in power plants, easily mistaken for a Pokeball. It has zapped many people. So, people try and pick it up, and they're like, oh, it's nose, that's, oh, that's, that's, that's Voltorb, and then they get owned. Um, so as you see, I only have two power points left on Vine Whip, that's because of that fairy, but I'm going to tech, check, ah, check this text, tech, uh, check this text message and see you guys in a minute. Alright, Super Nerd Joven has been defeated. Got some monies, money, money, money. Let me go, let me go. Or oh, found one potion. That helps, need to use that. Potion. I have what the? I have five. Po what? Oh yeah, I bought those. But <laughs> duh. I don't have any repels. That's what I ran out of. Hey, bug catcher. Wait, I want this item first. <laughs> rare candy. Oh, um, uh, rare candies. What they do is they um, you give it to the, your Pokemon and he instantly levels up. So. I just so happen to know, if my estimations are correct, that Isun here is one level away from leveling up. So, I'm going to use it on Isun. And creepy eye glitch of stretching sprites. And... Was I wrong? Was I, I was not wrong. What? Isun is evolving. Welcome, Ivysaur! Isun the Ivysaur is now what we shall call this Pokemon! Ivysaur is the evolved form of Isun, or Bulbasaur. <laughs> um, getting a little too used to the names there. Um, so now we have an even stronger Pokemon. Um, so we're gonna switch out now. Because Isun is now fully leveled. Woohoo! Or not fully, well, not fully leveled or evolved. Anyway, um, let's fight this dude. You need to go through this cave to get to Cerulean City. Obviously. Um, what do you got, Mr. Bug Catcher? Send Zelda out to battle. A Caterpie! Not exciting. Okay. That, that was easy. Um, let's see. Uh, let's go up here. Oh no. Not fun. Repels effect wore off again. Escape ropes, you use them to get out of a dungeon, which we are in a dungeon actually, and here's a random encounter. Okay, that's over. I don't think there's anything else over here. But another thing that when you're running, you do have a chance of encountering Pokemon more often, but if um, you're not running, it's less of a chance, but obviously you're slower, so. All right. So, what is this guy doing up here? See, I'm not, oh, wow. Wow! Oh! bets. Thank you for leveling my Zelda. Double Team! Double Team is a move that increases your evasiveness. Evasiveness is how a Pokemon can 
um, if a Pokemon can hurt you or not. And I'm going to place Tail Whip with that. Because that's actually a pretty good move if you're up against a Pokemon that is super effective against you. Like, if I were going up against a ground-type po Pokemon um, as Zelda, I would want to use Double Team. Because then there's a chance that um, the ground-type won't hit me. So this guy is just, he's not a trainer, he's just kind of trolling around. You're a trainer, though. Train. Train troll. Yeah! Aw, man. <sighs> so bad he's dead. I don't know why I... Anyway. Uh, I'm just gonna... Line of path! Oh, what the... Uh! <laughs> no! I am just not having any luck. There we go. Jeez. Wow, it's way bigger in here than I thought. Um, Las Medium sent out Oddish. Oddish is the weed Pokemon, and during the day, it keeps its face buried in the ground. At night, it wanders around, sowing its seeds. That's great. Oddish is kind of a weird Pokemon, especially because of its evolutions, but it's a quite good Pokemon, though, I would say. Pretty good grass-type Pokemon, so we're gonna use Quick Attack here. And I'll see you with the next Pokemon. Some XP and Bell Sprout. Bell Sprout is the flower Pokemon, and he's she is a carnivorous Pokemon that traps and eats bugs. It appears to use its root feet, it, its root feet to replenish moisture. It's kind of like a Venus flytrap, but it's a little creepy when it evolves as well. This girl is just all about creepy Pokemon. <laughs> creepy and weird. Growth. I hate that move. Growth. Growth! Growth. <laughs> Bellsprouts have a giant role in um, the second generation games. It's kind of weird. Well, it's not that giant, but it's a big part of the story. Um, anyway, let's get on with it. And of course, when we start running, we encounter a Pokemon. Alright. Further! That's tempting. Okay, we are going to fight this trainer because must fight all trainers. Zelda grew to level 16. Ah! That's awesome. More Rattata. Okay, I know we have seen Zubats before, but this is the first one that a trainer's had. So Zubat is the bat Pokemon and it forms colonies in perpetually dark places and uses ultrasonic waves to identify and approach targets. <sighs> so <laughs> that's obviously why Zubats, um, are always trolling around in these caves so yeah going to heal up real quick a quick with my four potions eat that potion eat that potion um so yeah let's go this way um 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 oh yeah i know what i was gonna say uh <laughs> I don't know what I was gonna do. I'm wasting time here. Um, I'm going to, the next gym leader, Misty, is a water type. Not really a spoiler, but um, she's a water type gym leader. And I know both of my Pokemon would be good against her, but I want to train up Isun here because um, I want to use Zelda against the gym leader. Okay, done with that wild battle and hello. Whoa, you shocked me. Oh, you're just a kid. Excuse me? I'm just a kid? Oh, hello, Hiker Marcos. Geodude! Okay, I'm back. I off-screened a little bit of things because I realized that Isun was down to about... Oh, uh, well, he, he had no power points left in Tackle and no power points left in um, Vine Whip, and he was almost dead. Well, actually, he did die in an off-screen battle I did, so... And he leveled up. Um, so... We're gonna go on down here because we missed it. Oh, yeah, and I also did go all the way back to Pewter City and bought six repels. So that's fun for us. <laughs> um, what's down here? La dee da dee do. More. More going downstairs. Oh, what the? Who's this shady character? Maybe we should come back here later. Do, 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 do. I am not singing in tune. Ooh, boo, doo, boo, doo, doo. Um, let's go down here. Oh wait, no, we don't want to go down there yet. 
we were over here and wow that's a waste of our pal la, 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 la. we already battled this dude didn't we yep already battled that dude go get that at him moonstone so yes if i was using a clefairy or anything that would be very happy anything on these rocks probably I'm too lazy to check it out. Um, what's down here? This is heavy story progression, I think. Yeah, we're, we're, eh, I don't know where we're going. Revive! Revive brings a Pokemon back to life. And more repel wearing off. Ugh. That's annoying. We'll be out of here soon. Alright, I'll be right back where when I know where to go. Because yeah, I'll I'll be right back. Okay, we're gonna go down here anyway. Hello, mister. Who are you? We, Team Rocket, are Pokemon gangsters. We strike fear with our strength. So this is the Team Rocket that that guy in the newspaper was talking about. Team Rocket Grunt would like to battle. Team Rocket Grunt sent out Sandshrew. Sandshrew, the mouse Pokemon! Sandshrew burrows deep underground in arid locations far from water. It only emerges for hunt and food. Cool. So, one hit that. And Rattata. Bleh. Okay, that's that. But we're about out of time here, so we got to... This is a pretty good episode. We got to Mount Moon, leveled up our Pokemon a lot, Isun evolved... And uh, we fought our first Team Rocket Grunt, so in the next episode, we are going to investigate this annoying random encounter. Anyway, in the next episode, we will find out more about this Team Rocket, these Team Rocket guys, and see what else is in store for us at the end of Mount Moon. So anyway, see you guys next time.